Solo que se está su Imagine doing your math homework and then actually being able to see the equations realized. We live in a time where new things become possible every day. We have tried to not only make a teaching tool, but also a new kind of a museum installation while inspiring the user's reactions to natural and semi-natural control methods. Our product is a collaborative game where one to three people at a computer work together with a single person in virtual reality. The task is to aim and fire a cannon in the virtual world by making the relevant calculations with a map and a ruler. This provides an environment where kids will both learn to use simple mathematics as well as develop communication and cooperation skills. With a little more development, the project could also be a separate installation in a museum or even a home experience. This project uses the HTC Vive to let the user move around the virtual environment. For interaction, we use both the official HTC Vive controllers and the Leap Motion. Controllers provide an extremely stable and accurate semi-natural interaction method. In contrast, the Leap Motion provides an unstable but natural interaction method where the user's own hands are tracked as long as they can be seen by the Leap. The software side was developed with Unity, and three assets were created using 3ds Max. Great care was taken to historical accuracy, helping the experience to have a feeling of authenticity. As a part of our cooperation with Clare Museum, we wanted to look at what people prefer when they're interacting in the virtual environment. So we used a, an, an iterative design process to, to refine both the method and the product. And in the end, we performed an experiment with 42 participants. They rated the enjoyment and feeling of difficulty for the two different interaction methods. We found that people generally got equal enjoyment out of the two control methods, but many found the leap motion more difficult to work with. Very few outliers drastically preferred one over the other, showing that both methods at least have some potential. From a purely user experience perspective though, it seems that the Vive controllers are the best solutions, but practical issues like battery life, maintenance and theft requires a close consideration of the lead motion as well, especially for a museum environment. This version of the product is slated to become a part of the math course at Kreve Museum but there is a wide spectrum of possibilities available for further development. Museum installations, home entertainment, game-based learning are all fields that can use projects like this. Hopefully, our findings will also be relevant for others trying to develop VR experiences, helping them choose the right interaction method.